Boy. Uh, uh, happy. It feels like a Wednesday and it feels like a Monday. I don't know if it's just because it's September 1st, but whatever the case may be, happy, happy Tuesday. Y'all are probably gonna see this tomorrow, which is Wednesday. I have my breakfast, which is these oatmeal baked squares. They're so good. <laughs> I am off, why is this light on? I am off to my doctor's appointment, if I could put the car in drive. I have an ultrasound this morning, and then tomorrow, tomorrow is my actual doctor's appointment. I'll be doing um, my 20, 28 week checkup in addition to um, my glucose test. This doctor's office is basically doing a lot of screening although i don't need it i appreciate it because you know that shows me that they care but it's also annoying because i have never i have never been high risk um pregnant had a high risk pregnancy at all even even considering my weight um i rarely even gain weight during my pregnancies so this ultrasound is just specifically to see that he has enough room to gain to make sure all my fat is not in the way. <laughs> Which he has been measuring perfectly fine. We have been perfectly healthy, no high blood pressure, no gestational diabetes. They did make me take the test earlier because I'm fat. <laughs> um, I passed that and what else? Everything's good. So we're just going in today to check on him and yeah, I don't think and yeah, I don't think I can record in there. Um, if I can, I'll, I'll find a way. But yeah, let's head to this doctor's appointment. I just made it. I thought I forgot my mask. <laughs> but thank God it's here. One of the kids were in my purse. So they hit it. But I'm so excited to see him. I haven't seen him since my ultrasound. My ultrasound. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, I haven't seen him since my anatomy scan, um, which was 20 weeks. No, not, not 20 weeks, Jesus. Which was nine weeks ago because I had my anatomy scan at 19 weeks. So I'm excited to see him. I've been having a lot of dreams about him going to be measuring big and we're going to change my due date. So let's see if that is true or not. I don't know. I've just been having this feeling and then I've been having these dreams where, like I said, he's measuring big and then they change my due date and I end up having him right around Mason's birthday. So let's see. Um, it is 934. My appointment is at 945. They said be here at 930, but did I really want to go sit in there without service for 15 minutes? So no, let's go now. for you now You got two minutes of my time back that took a little bit longer but it was so great to ooh, it was so great to see him and he has a lot of hair already which if you've seen my kids it's not really a big shocker um and he's already 2.9 pounds which i'm just like whoa when i check google like what's the average weight around 28 weeks they're saying it's like 2.2 so he's doing well um everything is looking great as of right now no due dates or anything has changed i think he looks like kj already <laughs> look at his little profile y'all look at him this is not turning out well hold on let me flip the camera at him he's already so cute i can tell that he's gonna have the chunkiest face just like his brother while i was um up this morning because of insomnia i placed some orders at target and um public so i'm gonna go pick that up i just decided to do like instacart pickup and then um target drive up which my target order is still not ready but i'm about to go pick up my um 
my Publix order so I can head home and get some work done. Hey, hey y'all, so it is later on in the day. It is 4.46, today has been very, very, very productive. Um, as soon as I got home from the doctor's appointment and picking up my two pickup orders, I had to set up for um, this one big campaign Mason and I had. I'm not gonna say what it is, just stay tuned. It was really big and it has something to do with fall. Whenever it goes up or whenever it's live or approved, I will let y'all know. So we had to do that and it involved different scenes. So there was one in the kitchen, a few in the living room, and then there was one outside of the home. After we did that, I did have to go ahead and shoot for another campaign, which was really simple. We did it in Mason's room. And then I've been sending out some emails and I, even though this might be controversial to some, which, you know, if I'm announcing it on here, I already know that some people are not going to necessarily agree with it. We are going to be going on a work vacation in a couple of weeks. And I just... I just got off the phone call with, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm not gonna tell y'all who it is, but I'm pretty sure some of y'all can guess it. It's a big name brand. I've worked with them even as early, even earlier this year. So I just talked to them. It was completely unexpected. I'm excited. So on this trip, it looks like we're gonna be working with three different brands. Um, so we'll be going from three different places. Um, <sighs> We have, during this time, because we have really been in isolation for the past six months, the only place that we have been that, where we were not isolated was when we went to Atlanta, and I did not vlog it because nothing really happened like that. We went to Atlanta for my godfather's wedding. He was supposed to be having this huge wedding. Let me delete some space. So he was supposed to be having this big wedding, which was supposed to be in May, but then obviously a lot of things happened and he pushed it back and ended up having something smaller in August. So we went to Atlanta and we were very safe and yeah, it wasn't much happening. It was way smaller than what it was supposed to be. The kids didn't even go to the wedding. They just ended up staying at the hotel. We limited our contact with people. Obviously we have more contact with more people than we had had in the previous months, but we stay stay we say we stayed safe throughout the whole time. And um prior to going, I was very curious how it was to stay at a hotel during this time, but you know, we did stay at two hotels while we were there and I felt very comfortable. If you guys are interested in knowing what it's like to stay at a hotel during this time, check out my blog post cuz I've made it very detail to let you know what it is because I know some people have to do it or some people just want to do it but you're not necessarily sure what to expect so with that being said when we got home we did stay quarantined for two weeks the only place that I went to um after we got back was my doctor's office I did do that just to ensure God forbid if something happened we were exposed to something that we did not put anybody else at risk y'all see my chicken arms that we did not put anybody at risk so we are healthy we are good and I do feel comfortable about this decision of going on this trip um my goal this year was to travel and to travel for work and it was going so great in the beginning of the year. March came, I had three trips lined up and boom, crash fail. I went to nothing. So I want the opportunity to be able to still build my portfolio before baby boy comes because I know Come mid mid October ish, I'm probably not gonna be going anywhere. Nevertheless, anywhere too far from a hospital. So I wanted to be. I wanted the opportunity to build my portfolio for this year. So when I am ready to get back out next year, hopefully <laughs> we are ready to go, and I have everything lined up. So that's what I was doing. I'm really excited. I have not, we have not flown during this time. The last time we flew was when we went to, um, well, the last time I flew was the end of February when I got back from my carnival cruise. And that was the last place outside of North Carolina and Georgia that I have been to. Anyways. So I have not flown during this time. I've seen some videos. I've seen some TikToks about how it is, but I am feeling a little, you know, I'm about, I'm about 90% sure and ready to fly. I'm excited to get out to go to work. And once we come back, we'll be here. Um, 
So yeah, anyways, I need to get ready to go homeschool my child because I have not homeschooled her yet today. Um, I'm probably going to wash a load of laundry. I need to edit the content that I just did because I did another thing. Um, and then get back to these emails. But I'll see y'all in the next clip. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. But I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh. So give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh. I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break it. So this is what's going to be for dinner tonight. I've made, I have made dinner for the past couple nights in a row. So I decided let me just go easy tonight. We're going to have the PF Chang's orange chicken and then the chicken fried rice. Right now, I'm, I'm not showing y'all my face, y'all. I just took off my wig. <laughs> right now, I'm warming up the kids some of the leftover pasta we have for dinner. And then giving them some strawberries. Just a little early slash late lunch. I don't know what you want to call it. And then we'll eat dinner after daddy gets home. Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, real free. I wanna make you sweat. Good job. Come on. No, am I distracting you? Let's let's get ready to head for the camera, okay? Okay. So start up here and go around. Come on, let's put your pointer back on. You got it? You got it? Yeah. Start at the top. Good job. Start at the top. Yep, good job. Start at the top. Okay. Where's A? A. Good job. Where's me? Me. Good job. Where's can? Can. Where's in? In. Good job. And. Good job. High five, shorty. No, no high five for mommy. Your table broke. <laughs> Hi, little guy. Hi. Hi. Good, I'm about to say good morning. You almost ready for bed? Yeah. Go, KJ. Go, KJ. Did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you make this mess in here? That's not very nice, is it? 